is going on everybody welcome back to let your frontier welcome back to the night wolf ranch and today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different I promised you guys uh, new types of videos and uh, and I have one I have bought all of the mech parts that exist currently in let your frontier and we're gonna do a little bit of a fashion show and uh, display the parts of the mech so you know which ones that you want to buy sooner than later. Alright, well, while I assemble this, uh, give me a moment. And I'll, I'll do it in assembly and uh, we'll, we'll get over to, the, uh, over to the runway. Where Stanley will model all of his uh, beautiful mech parts for you. Bye, Stanley. Stanley, come back. Stanley! Yippee! Yippee! Get back here! Alright, so the first on our list is uh, very familiar. It is the farm tech it is the farm tech set. This is the set that you will be starting off with. Just a very basic set. You can recolor it as you please. Um, not many options as far as the, the, the coloring and the, and the highlights. Um, your secondary color will, will just highlight those little parts right there. I'll show you on the uh, on the actual thing when we get back. Okay, so when it comes to painting this one, you're not going to have many options. As you can see, the uh, primary color will be that, and the secondary color will just highlight the little the little gears right here and, and a little bit of the foot. Um, on the, on the, on the engine there, it'll highlight the wheels. And also when you're in the mech, you're going to have these, uh, little bars here. And again, this is the standard one, so I'm sure everyone's, uh, used to this one already. So, uh, let's disassemble and, uh, get to the next one, shall we? Okay, so, a l uh, <laughs> slight, slight problem. Uh, apparently these, uh, these big lights don't turn on when you change the time of day. So note to self. All right. So next on our list, this is the Hot Rod Ferocious uh, set. Now this set you should get in your mailbox when you purchase the game. I do believe that is how it is going now. Uh, it was only for a limited time and then the developers decided to just release it to anyone uh, past, present and future who is going to be playing the game. So this is actually a free set that you will be receiving when you when you play the game. Just go to your mailbox or build the mailbox on your farm. And this is the set you will get. It will come in black and white. You'll also get some black and white paint. Um, and once again, you can kind of color this one any way you want to. And to give you a little bit of an idea of how this uh, colors, your primary color will color in the, the white part there, secondary color color in the black part. So you can do some pretty fun combinations and, you know, be creative, do what you like. All right, in this set, you probably have seen, if you've uh, watched any of my previous videos, this is the Hot Rod Lightning set, which I have colored to resemble Voltron. Now there is no hot, there is no Hot Rod Lightning set engine so I just put the regular hot rod engine on there. And once again, as you can see, the way it's colored, um, your primary color is the main part. Secondary color will color in the lightning bolts. Choose any lightning, choose any color combination you like or do like I did and mix and match. Remind me next time to build the stage a little bit closer to where I change the mech parts. What are you looking at? I want to play a game. All right, next on the list, this is the Knight set. It's a pretty basic set. I'm I'm not entirely a fan of how this one is uh, for for one particular reason having to do with the coloring, and I'll show you guys that just in a minute. But otherwise, it's a really cool set. I also included the uh, the Knight windshield. Looks like this from the inside. So you still have those little bars that um, I hear a lot of people complaining about. It never really bothered me that much. 
but once I, I had a full blown windshield that you know I could I could see everything, it it did help out a lot, and I really never went back. So, you know, I mean, for aesthetic purposes, it looks kind of cool. All right, so here's why I'm not as big a fan of this set. So. There really is no primary. You can't change the color of the armor, just the highlights of the armor. Which I'm not really a fan of, because, you know, what if I wanted to... What if I wanted to be the Black Knight? Look, you stupid bastard, you've got no arms left! Or if I wanted to be a whole, like, you know, Red Knight or something like that. So, I, I do kind of wish that part was a little bit different. Otherwise, I think the set's pretty cool. Oh, 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 now you're just going to sleep in the middle of my runway? Excuse me. Oh. So does anyone have a mop to clean that up? All right. And this set is known as the Power Armor set. I have colored it very similar to the Hulkbuster armor in uh, in Marvel's Avengers. This is also one of the more unique windshields because it's tinted orange. Uh, when you look at it from outside, however, when you're inside of it, it's just plain clear, so you don't got to worry about that. But yeah, I think this is a really cool armor set. And this is how it looks when you go to color it. Once again, be creative. Once you unlock all the paint colors um, and mix them all together, it's a lot of fun. I've been having a really good time uh, coming up with some original designs. Okay. <laughs> What do we got next? All right, this set is called the, just called the vintage set. Now, if you're gonna ask me which order these uh, these are unlocked in, I have no idea. Um, I thought I had collected all of them and then more kept unlocking as I progressed uh, in the late game. So there, there, there's quite a few sets. And I'm not too sure what causes them to unlock, and if just buying them unlocks them, or I would assume progression in the game is what is what does it. But yeah, this is the vintage set. And as always, as you can see, primary, secondary, primary, secondary, primary, secondary, primary, secondary. All right, this is another free set that you should be uh, that you should have in your mailbox uh, once you purchase the game. Uh, this is the taxi set, and of course, it's made to look like a vintage taxi cab. And you don't have to make it a you know a standard taxi cab. You can you can you can decorate it any, any way you want to. You can make it a checkerboard type of thing. Um, I'm really not too sure what else you can do with it. You could probably do some like funky colors and, and do some some like cool digital set to it. But yeah, just go to your mailbox, build a mailbox on your farm, uh, and and look inside and you should have this set available for you right now. Also, I forgot to mention that the taxi set will come with yellow and black paint. Not much of it, just I think about maybe like four or six, if I'm not mistaken. And like I was saying before, primary, secondary, primary, secondary. I guess you can make a make a make a pink taxi cab, you know? Actually the pink and black doesn't look too bad. Not on this set for me though. Maybe for you, but not for me. Alright. Next on the list. Alright, and this set is called the Vintage Hibiscus Set. I believe that's how it's pronounced. But yeah, this set is uh, has little hibiscus flowers on it. And I, I went with a um, kind of a hippie paint job. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I was like, this, this deserves bright colors. It needs bright, bright colors. And, and that's what I did. So yeah, the flowers will be your secondary uh, color, and then of course the blue will be your primary color. And uh, even even on the engine, there is hibiscus uh, flowers, and yeah, I think it's an okay set. It's 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 really not for me, but I mean, you know, other people like it. Not not everything in this game has to be for me. This isn't my game after all, <laughs> at least not yet. <laughs> yeah, play around with the different colors, see what you like. 
All right, what is next on the agenda? All right, and this is the hot rod set. And uh, this one's got flames on the legs and arms. It does not have flames on the engine itself. But still a pretty cool set. Uh, flames will be your secondary color, and then the uh, red part there will be your primary color, of course. I don't know what I did with this pathing. With the camera, that's a little bit of a tight zoom there. I do wish the they would have a version of this where the engine would also have flames on it as well. But, you know, maybe eventually. And this next one is called the Power Armor Officer Set. The difference between this one and the regular Power Armor is this one has uh, stars on it. Kind of like a, a space police. So if you wanted to role play as a, as a space police officer to make sure that everything that we're growing on these farms is on the up and up and, and perfectly 100% legal, then, then yeah, you could do this. I chose to color mine in white and red. Um, although I do think that a blue and yellow would look really cool as well. Um, but yeah, you can play around with it and, and, and do what you like. Of course, the, the stars and the, the lines will be your secondary color, and then the, the main portion is your prime. And actually, now that I had that idea, let me try that. Yeah, actually, I, I, I really like the uh, the yellow and uh, and blue as well. That, that makes it look kind of cool. A little more traditional, you know, police officer-esque. Okay, well, now that we have that done... All right, now this one is called the Vintage Speckle, and it's got these uh, wave-like lines on the on the body, on the arms, on the legs. It also has a dedicated engine, which also has the speckles on them. I really didn't know what to do for this one, so I just kind of went a little, little, ow. I just bought my microphone, sorry about that. I didn't really didn't know what to do with this one, so I just went with a uh, kind of like a, a more um, clubby vibe to it. Primary color, again, going to be your base. Secondary color is going to be the little wave swivels in there. Okay, so this next set is called the Farm Tech Lagom. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, and I'm probably not. But the primary on this one is going to be the orange part, and the secondary is the black. It looks like it's got uh, some crowns on the side of it. I'm sorry. Maybe that's got something to do with the name. Maybe I should Google it so I don't sound like a moron. Too late! One moment. Oh, okay. So, Lagam is a Swedish word that means just the right amount or not too much, not too little. It can also be translated in in moderation, in balance, perfect, simple, just enough, ideal, and sustain, uh, suitable. Oh, that would explain the cross on the on the engine there. Bruh. I see. Okay. I thought that looked familiar, but I was like, I'm not entirely sure if that is what I'm seeing or or not. I'm sorry, excuse my excuse my ignorance. <laughs> it would also make sense because the uh, developers are are Swedish, so if you guys are watching this, I'm sorry I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't put two and two together. There, I fixed it. It's the wrong shade of blue, I realize, but... My, my intentions were in the right place. Don't cancel me. <laughs> Alright, now this is the Hot Rod Grimy set. And yes, this one does have its own dedicated engine, which has the paint speckles. It looks like, you know, someone got into a into a paintball fight which I think would be actually a really cool thing to have in the game instead of shooting water we shoot paintballs we can in multiplayer we can have like a paintball war but yeah another another really cool set the primary color of course will be the base secondary color is the uh, paint splotches I think it'd be kind of cool if you can make the paint splotches each individual color it looks like you you uh, got into a food fight with the mech I think it's I think it's a pretty cool set with its own dedicated engine and everything as you can see right there, nice little detail. This set is the only non-free set in the game so far. 
This is the Pioneer set, and the way you get this set is you buy the DLC. So it is a really cool set. It will come with this shade of blue paint, and look at the intricate detail on here. It's got like um, uh, star maps on it, constellations. I didn't color this. This is the now. This is how this is how it will come in the uh, in the DLC itself. Got your little star compass up here. Uh, but yeah, go check out the DLC and uh, see if you like it. And again, if you have the means, uh, consider purchasing it and helping out the developers a little bit more because it is a really really cool set. All right, now we have come to one of the most one of the more unique sets in the game. This is the woodwork set. Now this one you cannot customize at all, which I, I kind of understand why, because it makes your mech look like it it's an old uh, golem, like like it's made of like it's made of tree parts and, and rope. It also has its own uh, windshield. It's got the bars on the sides. It's also got this the, the the grass on the top, so it's a little distracting if if you if you have to look up for any reason, blocks your vision a little bit, especially like when you're dealing with those. Uh, noxious spores and, and stuff like that but this is what it looks like from the inside and yeah this is what it looks like on the outside very very detailed um i think it, i think it looks really great i was very impressed when i saw it definitely really really cool uh but this is one that you unlock a little bit later in the game i might have to take this out and do some some cool screenshots with it but yeah otherwise big fan of this one 10 out of 10. you there be gone shoot shoot Shoot. Beat it. Hey. I said move. Listen. I don't want any trouble and I don't think you do either. So why don't you just mosey on out of here? Mosey on out of here! Meep meep. Ow! Meep meep. Little bastard ran me over. Alright, so this set is called the FM04 set. And definitely one of my favorite sets in the game. I painted it to look a little bit like Optimus Prime. One shall stand, one shall fall. I didn't realize that I had done so until afterward. And I'm like, oh, the blue legs, the red top. Yeah, this kind of looks like uh, Optimus Prime from the Transformers. Not the Michael Bay movies. The good Transformers. The original G1 Transformers. So yeah, I think this one looks really, really cool. I'll show you the secondary and uh, primary colors when we get back to the uh, station. But yeah, otherwise, this yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite sets in the game. I absolutely love it. And yeah, I think it's just missing the Autobot symbol on the top there, and it definitely looks like a little bit like Optimus Prime, in my opinion. Alright, so for the FM04 set, there really isn't... Uh, too much color differ... 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 Secondary and primary. The primary is the majority of it. The secondary is the feats. Um, on the engine part there, the secondary, of course, is the little little black parts there. There's the primary. And then on the arms, it just looks like uh, that little square right there on the top. Let me make it a little bit more obvious. Yeah, those squares look like they're the only thing that really changed color. You can see a little bit more on the back here. Okay, and this is the FM04 Dazzle set. So a little bit different than the uh, than the regular one. This one has little stripes on it and uh, little triangles. That will be your, your secondary color. Primary color, of course, is the main base right there. Um, this one also has its own dedicated engine as well. It is slightly different than the FM04 regular. Again, another one of the sets that I that I really, really like. I went with a red and white set for this one. Um, just because I thought it looked cool. Again, Transformers influenced. Naturally. Okay, and there is still one more FM04 set to show you we still got lots to go so don't worry there there's more coming I'm saving the uh, the best for last all right so this next set I know I'm gonna stutter over it a little bit 
but this is the FM04 topography. So it looks like a, a map, in a way, a topography map. Um, so I highlighted the, the, uh, the section in yellow, not yellow, oh my god, wow. I highlighted the secondary color in white to show you what that would look like, and the main color is in a green. I kind of like, I kind of like the, uh, the military, the military, uh, the, oh my god, I can, I can, now I'm starting to stutter, oh my gosh. I kind of like the military looking topography, uh, coloring to this. I think it's kind of cool. But yeah, everything has its own dedicated part. Uh, there's a dedicated engine, because as you can see, there's detail on that as well. But yeah, they really did a good job of making something for everyone in this in this game. I think it's great. Okay, next on the list, beat it. Alright, so this next set is called the Night Florence set. And I, I like it a little bit better than the last one. Because it does leave you a little bit to uh, customize with the little uh, Florent uh, uh, leaflets. Leaf pattern on the armor. I changed those to uh, a yellowish gold almost. But that is all the customization you can do with this one. Uh, yes, it does have its own dedicated engine. Although looking at both of them, I really can't tell too much what the difference is between them. I'm sure if I looked at them side by side, I can tell. But yeah, I like this set a little bit better. I think it's kind of cool. Um, and that gold part there is going to be your secondary. Unfortunately, there is no primary with this one. It's always going to stay just the uh, the silver armor that it is, which I kind of wish we can change that. But yeah, this set's pretty cool. Okay, so these next few I'm going to show you more so here at the base because I don't want to be putting the camera mode on because it, it, it will take away the effect that you're seeing on the screen right now. This is the boombox set. Now the boombox set, another one of my favorite sets in the game. Um, you can customize it any color you want to as far as the primary goes. The secondary is mostly just going to be those little highlights you see right there. And that's going to be the primary. I kept it all white, kind of like in, as a um, an Apple product. And I think the glowing lights that, that, that flash different colors are, are really, really cool. Definitely something visual to look at while you're out, while you're out farming and exploring, all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is one of a few sets of a uh, of the boombox. Let's, I'm going to show you another one right now. Okay, so the light is not going to look as impressive, but at least you can still see the LED lights that are, that are illuminating. This is the boombox beehive set. Um, the boombox set also does have its own dedicated windshield, which I'll show you what it looks like inside. Uh, very similar to a few other ones where it has the little brackets on the sides here. But nothing too, too bad. Uh, I guess the claim to fame for this one would be it's got that little antenna at the top to kind of finish it all off. But this one's really cool. I kind of did a custom made, made a paint job. Looking a little bit like Bumblebee, of course. And your primary color. There's your primary, there's your secondary, and there's your primary. So your primary is going to be the base there, and then the secondary will fill in those little beehive uh, honeycombs right there, and the highlights as well. But I really, I just, I really love the uh, the flashing uh, lights that that they put on this. I think it's really, really cool. Okay. There's one more uh, boombox set to show you. I'll do that now. All right, so this set is known as the uh, boombox puzzle set. And much like the uh, the original boombox set, primary, secondary, uh, it still has the, the flashing LED lights on it, which I think are kind of cool. And I just noticed this, but the... Uh, the limbs here look like speakers. 
yeah, so solid color for the primary, and then the secondary is just going to be the uh, the joints, the highlights, and the uh, the stuff around the speaker. Um, haven't really done too much with this set just yet. Uh, couldn't really think of a custom paint job to do for it. Um, and, and all honesty, this is the first time I put this one on and, and, and looking at it up close. Um, the texture is okay. Once again, not saying that it's bad. I'm just saying that, you know, my tastes are different than other people's. So you might like it. Me, it, it, 7 out of 10. We got a few more to go. Alright, now this is a really now this one is actually really really cool. This is called the Underframe set. And it's a very stripped down version of the farm tech set. So you can kind of see the under under wires and all the uh, the skeletal structure of the mech. Not much customization to do with this one either. As I'll show you right here, uh, it's just going to be the secondary. The secondary is going to be those little parts right there, and then your primary is going to be looks like the joints, and that's about it. It also has its own uh, its own windshield, which yeah looks like a lot of the other ones. Again, I know a lot of people don't like these uh, these little bars on the side. I, I I didn't even notice that that was a problem until I you know someone pointed it out. And I was like, oh, I mean, I guess it's okay. But yeah, this is uh this is now this one reminds me of Johnny Five from Short Circuit and Short Circuit Two, so I think it's kind of cool. All right. There's another one like this to show you. All right, now this set is the underframe safety set, uh, which I don't notice too, too much of a difference. The differences are very, very slight. Yeah, those little uh, lines on some of the parts there, and I do believe there's some added rings to around the uh, around the wires, if I'm not mistaken. But still a pretty cool set. Again, it's kind of neat to, to see underneath everything. It's like the the the, the skeletal structure from uh, Terminator 2. With the T-800s, I believe they were called. Okay. And as far as customization goes, it looks like you get the lines and some highlights over here. Uh, looks like you get a little bit more with the joints and the highlights on the sides there. And then your primary is going to be just those small parts right there. Same thing with the arms. So, yeah, you definitely get a little bit more customization with this one than you did the last one. Um, I think leaving it just the way it is is probably the, the way to go, in my opinion. But yeah, that's that's all of the mech parts in Lightyear Frontier thus far, both paid and unpaid. All the free ones and all the ones that you can get from Piper. Um, like I said, only there was the, only the three of them that I that I had mentioned that were not in the game that you can get from Piper. Two of which the developers are going to give you for free, um, right over here in your mailbox. You just run over here like this, and there they are. That was the May reward, and that was the June reward, so the taxi and the Hot Rod Ferocious should both be in your mailbox right now. Uh, the Pioneer Bundle is what I was talking about with, the, with that other mech skin. This is the tent that you get. You get a telescope, and there's a few other items as well. So I think it was worth it. So, yeah, that is the fashion show for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if there's anything I missed or any other questions you have, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. Uh, be sure you guys hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. 
And, um, yeah, I'll be back with some more Lightyear Frontier content in the very, very near future. So stay tuned and uh, check out the other videos. Oh. And just as we're departing, so is Piper. Or Lola. Bye, Lola. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me for tonight. So thank you all so very much for watching. And until next time, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.